go to work taking out fuel. Let's see if they take a full one. Let's go to Lindy. Elio Castroneves gets red tires. No changes to the car when it comes to changes to his Lake Reinemann is back. He's been with the team for 28 years. He's been in the shop all this year. Sean Hanrahan, who's been in his spot, he had hernia surgery. He's out. Rick's in. And then his outside rear, Eric Prentice. You saw Frankiti there. Eric Prentice, the outside rear, 13 years with Elio. This is his last race. He is going home to Pennsylvania. He says he wants to watch his kids grow up. And Bob, he says this race is bittersweet. Yeah, I can imagine. And Lindy, we did see a difference in strategy that Will Power has gone with the blacks. His teammate, as you called it, Elio Castro Neves, has gone with the reds. So they are setting up to finish this with a different strategy. And I was watching the time clock on Power's car. You know, we said we thought he was going to be in the high five seconds. He had a seven point six pit stop, but it's going to matter. He could take his time. <laughs> he could do whatever he wants. <laughs> and he could drive on blacks. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody up front has pitted and uh, Will Power hangs on to the lead with a two point eight second advantage on Elio Castro Nevis at Edmonton. Welcome to Camp Versus, the only place you want to be this summer. Week nights on 11 Eastern, it's the Daily Line, your one-stop shop for the day's top headlines. Brought to you by our team of experts. Bob, sorry, look at this. It's a move for the lead. Castro Neves goes to the inside on the Reds, and he gets power. How about that? So you're thinking the Reds may be a good thing right now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, that was partially because Will Power lost some momentum because of traffic. Elio Castro Neves pounced. That was nice. Hey, Jan. Sorry to jump on you there, but that, that was cool. Watch the daily hey, guys, line. Remember it's to the the guys, remember at the top of the show, we talked about the push to pass, the overtake button. Well, that was the case. As you watch this replay of the run, Will Power failed to use the overtake button because he had used it earlier. That means the reset precluded him from being able to, being able to use it as a defensive weapon. Wow, how about that? Yon, are you going to camp versus this year? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm in camp versus right now. Yeah, we all this are is camp versus. <laughs> we're, we're calling camp versus right now, Robbie. Look at him pull away, guys. Yeah, he's. That's what I was saying about the strategy prior to the pit stop. We were talking during the break about Castro Neves had a lot of muscle, and then when they went on alternate strategies, and Robbie, you said earlier you thought the red tires were the way to go when the track rubbers in, and you were absolutely right. Well, and the, another guy that we were going to use as a gauge with that, because what prompted that discussion was Tracy. And I've been watching Tracy's time, and I, and I really haven't seen his speeds increase, but he's been in traffic, so I really haven't been able to weigh that out. Now that I've said that, oh no, it's still only a 104.5, so he's still slower on the reds than he was the blacks, but we'll keep an eye on it. Paul Tracy running sixth. Pretty good job for a guy that has only done a couple road courses yeah, this year. Yeah, huh? you'll have to be <laughs> happy with this. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, his last two years, he, he's been, a, you know, a fourth and sixth place finish. So, you know, with not running this series on a regular basis at this this type of level, pretty pretty impressive. Hey, now check this out. Power could be in trouble from Dixon because right. Dixon has also gone with the Reds. And look at him close in on Will Power. Yep. And they've got to be thinking in Power's pit. Ah, oh, man, I knew we should have gone to the Reds. <laughs> yeah, that, but you know that lap that he just turned was only a cup was one tenth slower than what Elio's doing right now. But just just visually though, yeah, no, I, visually Dixon is getting after him. Yeah, that doesn't lie there, does it? Hey fellas, I just asked Clive Howell and he confirms just what you guys have been supposing. The difference? Reds versus blacks, he said. Yep. Real tersely. Yep, like I got a set sitting here in the pits. I wish they were on my car. Look at Dixon close in. And when we and we talk about what Firestone has done with the Reds and the Blacks, this racetrack is probably the track where we've seen the biggest gap in their performance. So keep that in mind of, of what we're watching here. This has been the biggest performance gap between both of them, the alternate and the primary. And you know that that decision could have come just from a lot of confidence because we were just saying that Power had a walk in the park. Yep. And so when sometimes you're conservatives, ah, we could do it on blacks. That way we know they're not going to wear out their heads. And boy, but in this case, 
Firestone has done their homework and it's really helped the racing. Well, we get down to the last few laps. Can Elio Castroneves hold off Will Power for the victory here at Edmonton? Quite a race here in Edmonton. Will Power led until a few minutes ago, and Elio Castro Nevis got around him, and now Will Power is second. He's being challenged by and really hounded by Scott Dixon, is running third and not too far behind. There's Dario Franchini in fourth. And Jan and I were just talking about, Bob, there may be a scenario here where Elio on those Firestone Reds they may give up a little bit something as we get into the last 10 laps right. of this and power on the black the primaries they may keep getting better and better for him relative to elio and just kind of bring everything together with about what do you say two laps to go castro nevis is trying to put as much racetrack between himself and power but uh we have quite a few laps to go jack and it's wide open here but for Elio Castroneves, he told me this morning, and we got you guys have talked about it as well, that Will Power's addition to the team has made Elio, and I quote, a much better driver. I asked him to explain. He said, I look at his overlays. I look at the way he drives the car. He said, I'm willing to try it, as is Ryan. But he said, but Jack, don't forget, we all have egos in play. He says, but the beauty of the team is the fact that we check our egos at the door. And I was amazed, guys, he brought up the fact, he says, it's kind of like a football team. You can have a great quarterback, but if you don't have a good running back and some wide receivers, well, what good is it? He said, our team is like a football team. We've got chemistry across the board and in the locker room. I was amazed that Elio grabbed a football analogy. <laughs> Well, now Dixon is beginning to fall back a bit and making a race with uh, Elliot with uh, Dario Franchini. Ebbs and flows, Bob. Ebbs yep. and flows. Yep. Well, Jack, you said the word chemistry, and there's nothing more important when you're fighting for thousands of a second of having the chemistry between the driver, the engineer, driver, crew chief. But then if you can match that up with with your team drivers and their engineers, and they all work that way, which the Penske Group does, it, it's gonna pay off. I read an interesting article about Roger Penske and his driver choice. How does he make those choices? And near the top of the list is obviously speed, but one of the other items very high on the list is team player. They want all these drivers to work together as a cohesive team, and he has three that do right now. Well, you got to think, if you knew that Roger Penske and that organization was interested in you, you'd become a team player pretty darn quick <laughs> if that was you know, Roger, I haven't actually been a team player, but I could be one. I could be one. <laughs> Elio passes Hideki Muto, puts a car between himself and Will. Will needs to get him, and he is he's setting him up as he comes off of 14. Yep. Dixon Dixon's like, himself. come on, I'm coming through. Give me some space. <laughs> and that's a tough place. Yeah, not a good place to catch up a driver to try no, to get Because as you get through two, three, four, five, six, seven here, you really can't make a good clean move until you come off of turn nine and get to ten. Which is off of nine right here. Well, we'll take another break and be right back. Elio Castro Nevis leads in Edmonton. Welcome back to Edmonton, Alberta in the IZOD IndyCar Series. One of the closing stages of this race here that's being led by Elio Castro Nevis, T. Pinsky, Will Power second, then Dixon, Franchini, and Ryan Briscoe. Paul Tracy is the best in class, uh, not including the Team Penske and uh, Target Chip Ganassi drivers. Ryan Hunter Ray is seventh, and Sato, Marias, and EJ Viso running in tenth position. Seven laps to go for Elio. And that eight, nine, tenth position of Sato, Marias, and Viso, all KV teammates along yeah. with Tracy. So they pretty stout running for, yeah. for those guys. A good all four good cars in the top ten. Yeah. So there's the gap as we just saw Elio back to his. Oh, and Simona is slowing. 
she was running an 11 spot despite the fact that uh, she caused one of the cautions.